everybody, it is Jen Tendo here and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be going over some top 10 games that I definitely think you need to try out this fall. So make sure you stick around till the end of this video because I guarantee there is a game in here that you will want to pick up. So the first game we have here on this list is Mail Time. To me, nothing says fall more like a cozy cottagecore game and mail time is definitely one of them. In this game, you get to deliver mail such as letters and packages to the residents across Grumblewood Grove. Delivering the mail is going to be where you get to jump, run, and glide with your equipment that you can upgrade as you go across the game. Each little critter and resident you encounter in the game has fun and cute little dialogue that you get to participate in. This game has such beautiful, artistic, and vibrant and forest vibes that the art style alone definitely makes it worth it. I feel like this game was so fun and just so cute and I loved it absolutely so much and it is just such a cottagecore game. I definitely recommend trying this one out. Then next up on our list, we have Coffee Talk 2 Hibiscus and Butterfly. So Coffee Talk 2 is giving such noir vibes and it is just so comforting and cozy. It is a simulation game where you get to sit down hear people's stories, have heart to heart, hear their dialogue and communicate with them as well as making them drinks to match their mood and vibes. Making the drinks is so fun and cozy with all the recipes and different styles you get to make. And it just gives straight up fall vibes. Like to me, nothing is fall than a warm drink, but I definitely think this is just a fun, cute, cozy game that is fun to play when you're winding down before bed. This is definitely one to try. I definitely highly recommend this one. Next up, we have a much highly anticipated game for 2023, and that is Fay Farm. To me, there is nothing more cozier than a I farming can't. game, but this I isn't can't. just a typical farming game. This game has a little twist offering Fay Magic. This game features Fay Magic where you go to explore the island of Azoria and discover secrets and have battles to conquer along your adventure. One of my favorite features of this game is that it has multiplayer mode. Up to four players that you can play locally or online so you and your friends can participate and go on quests together and discover new characters and stories while exploring a plethora of realms hidden in Azoria. This game has so many areas and realms to explore and discover while often crafting, cooking, and cultivating. Also includes a lot of mining for me so far, but so far all the mining and exploration is great and I love how it has a little bit of mystical creatures involved in it and I think it is so fun and definitely a farming game that is well worth it so far. And another cozy farming game we have here is Paleo Pine. So this game takes place on an island called Paleo Pines, which is inhabited by friendly dinosaurs and townsfolk. Now, this is your typical farming game, but with friendly, cute dinosaurs. But to do this, you need to befriend various types of dinosaurs to help you build up and restore your sanctuary, and also helping to explore other areas. In this game, you're going to be farming, scavenging, cultivating, and trading at the town's market for residents' recipes in order to get treats for your dinosaurs. The townsfolk also will help give you guides and maps in order to help with your exploration and finding dinosaurs. And each dinosaur has different abilities that can help you with your quests and other areas to explore. This game is so fun and so cute, and it just is such a nice little twist to have farming and dinosaurs together. This one is such a fun, cozy game that I would definitely not skip out on. Next up, we have a highly anticipated one called Minako's Night Market. In this game, you get to play as a young girl named Minako, who moves to a small town on Mount Fugu. Now, this town is overrun with a plethora of cats who will be joining you and participating with you on your journey to help build this town and have it thrive again. In this game, the locals once worshipped this sun god cat called Nico, and there's apparently rumors and stuff and sightings that's floating among the townsfolk, and it's going to be your goal to discover the secrets of the town while restoring it to its former glory. To do this, you need to be going on quests, finding jobs, mining, and collecting items and resources to craft trinkets and toys to sell to your weekly local night market. Each vendor in this game sells different items that you can use to help you and also play and purchase, and it is just so fun so far. This is a huge part of the game which makes it fun. 
This game was announced back in 2022 and I have been so waiting for it as well as many other people and I definitely recommend picking this one up. Then next up we have Smooshy Comes Home. In this game you get to play as a little mushroom character who gets lost and taken away from his home and it is going to be your job in order to go on a ton of adventure in order to make it back home. You're going to be traveling through the forest, helping these little critters that will help guide you on your quest and help you go through traveling in order to get back home. This is such a fun, cute, cozy game. One of my favorite parts is that as you travel, you get to see various mushrooms and fungi that you get to catalog and discover. And the art style alone is just so cozy and cute. This is a really fun game to pick up. I highly recommend this one. Then the next game we have here is giving straight up fall vibes and that is Wildflowers. So in this game you play as a young girl named Tara who moves from the city all the way to her grandma Hazel's farm in a small town in Far Haven. So in this game you are going to be looking after and taking care of and building up this farm but you are also discovering that your grandma is part of a coven and you are going to be joining it as well. You get to craft potions, discover realms, interact with mystical creatures and it is just such a fun game. The story is amazing and one feature that is really unique and stands out to me is this game offers so much diversity and inclusivity it was so nice to see but the storyline alone the whole witchy vibes and the fall vibes together and the farming this game truly has it all and honestly this is a game that when you pick it up you can easily spend five hours playing it i highly 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 recommend this one you will not be disappointed so speaking of witches and potions and craft, the next game we have here is Potion Craft. Potion Craft is an alchemist simulator game where you get to interact and create your very own potions. You will be owning the shop. You will be doing everything such as collecting your materials, using your tools, brewing and crafting your own potions, getting new recipes and selling it to the town and just being the craftsman of this whole shop. The concept is super cool. It gives you such witch and warlock vibes and this is definitely one I recommend. Now, this game is out on Steam, but it is unfortunately not out on Nintendo Switch. It is supposed to be coming out this year. Fingers crossed it's this fall, but this is definitely one I would add to the list. Another fall themed game I highly recommend is Lemon Cake. To me, nothing says fall more like baking. It's so comforting and cozy to me, just like this game. So in this cute, fun little cozy baking game, you will be in charge of this old bakery and managing it. You'll be able to prepare, furnish, and decorate and upgrade every single room in this bakery. One of my favorite parts of this game is growing and gathering your very own fresh ingredients for your recipes, such as having fresh strawberries, milk from your cows, and eggs from your chickens, and anything from your livestock in order to create and sell your products. This game is so fun and cozy and is giving me like diner dash vibes but i just think it is so fun and it is just honestly just a cozy game i highly recommend this one so this last one may seem obvious and i know a lot of people already have played it but that is animal crossing new horizon now i know a lot of people have picked it up and played it and enjoyed it but i feel like a lot of us put it down and didn't think twice about it with all the new games coming out but to me, Animal Crossing is one of those cozy games that never ever go out of style. I myself still play New Leaf on my DS from time to time. But Animal Crossing New Horizons really is the best season to play for fall because if you are like me where you live in a climate where it's like 90 degrees right now, you get to dress in all these fall fashion, you get to make pies, get to see the leaves changing on your island, you get to collect all these new things. You get to celebrate Halloween on the island as well as other fall activities. This is one that I highly recommend and it is so cozy and honestly, I just never will get tired of Animal Crossing, but I do feel like fall is the best time to play it. So I hope a lot of you will pick it up and continue to play it too. And if you haven't, it is definitely worth it. But that is all for my top 10 cozy games that I definitely recommend people playing. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. I hope to see you in the next one. And comment down below and let me know which cozy game you are going to be playing this fall. I would definitely love to read your comments. But thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.